Hello everyone, welcome to High School Mathematics channel. Today we are going to learn class 8, chapter 1, rational numbers, new syllabus. The exercise 1.1, fifth sum onwards. See the fifth sum now. Name the property under multiplication used in each of the following. See the first one. Minus 4 by 5 into 1 equals to 1 into minus 4 by 5. That equals to minus 4 by 5. Here, 1 is the multiplicative identity. So, the property used here is multiplicative identity. See the second one. Minus 13 by 17 into minus 2 by 7. That equals to minus 2 by 7 into minus 13 by 17. A into B equals to B into A. So, here the property used is commutativity or commutative property. See now third one. Minus 19 by 29 into 29 by minus 19 that equals to 1. Here minus 19 by 29 written. So its inverse is 29 by minus 19 that equals to we got answer 1. So the property used here is multiplicate to inverse property. See now question number 6. Multiply 6 by 13 by the reciprocal of minus 7 by 16. Let us see the solution. Reciprocal of minus 7 by 16 is minus 16 by 7. According to the sum, 6 by 13 must be multiplied by the reciprocal of minus 7 by 16. So that equals to 6 by 13 into reciprocal of minus 7 by 16 is minus 16 by 7. That equals to we have to multiply the numerators and denominators separately. So, 6 into minus 16 that is minus 96 by 13 into 7 that is 91. So, the answer is minus 96 by 91. See now question number 7. Tell what property allows you to compute 1 by 3 into 6 into 4 by 3 as 1 by 3 into 6 into 4 by 3. Let us see the solution. We have entered the given sum. That is 1 by 3 into 6 into 4 by 3 is equal to 1 by 3 into 6 into 4 by 3. This is looking like associative property that is A into B into C is equal to A into B into C. Here associative property is used. See now question number 8. E is 8 by 9 the multiplicative inverse of minus 1 1 by 8. Why or why not? Let us see the solution. Minus 1, 1 by 8 means 8 ones are 8, 8 plus 1, 9. So the answer is here minus 9 by 8. We know that for a multiplicative inverse, the product should be 1. But according to the sum, 8 by 9 into multiplicative inverse, what we got here minus 9 by 8. So the answer is here minus 1. On cancelling 8 and 8, one time. On cancelling 9 and 9 one time, here minus is there, we got answer here minus 1. So, 8 by 9 into minus 9 by 8 answer, we got minus 1, which is not equal to 1. Therefore, 8 by 9 is not the multiplicative inverse of minus 1, 1 by 8. See now question number 9, e is 0 0.3, the multiplicative inverse of 3, 1 by 3. Why or why not? Let us see the solution. 3, 1 by 3 means 3, 3 is a 9, 9 plus 1, 10. So the answer is here 10 by 3. They have given 0 0.3 which means 3 by 10. For multiplicative inverse, the product should be 1. We know already. So according to the sum, 0 0.3 into 3, 1 by 3. So 0 0.3 is the multiplicative inverse of 3, 1 by 3. So, we multiply here both that equals to 0 0.3 means 3 by 10 into 3 1 by 3 means 10 by 3. So, these both are multiplicative inverse to each other. So, the product we got here 1. Therefore, 0 0.3 is the multiplicative inverse of 3 1 by 3. See now question number 10. Write first one the rational number that doesn't have a reciprocal. Answer is 0. Reason is 0 means 0 by 1. Reciprocal of 0 means 1 by 0. 
which is not defined. Therefore, 0 is the rational number that does not have a reciprocal. See second one, the rational number that are equal to the reciprocals. Answer is 1 and minus 1. Let us see the reason. 1 means 1 by 1. Similarly, minus 1 means minus 1 by 1. Next, a reciprocal of 1 is 1 by 1. Reciprocal of minus 1 will be again minus 1 by 1. So, 1 and minus 1 are two rational numbers that are equal to their reciprocals. See now, 10th question, third sum, the rational number that is equal to its negative, that is 0. Why? Because... 0 on subtracting 0, we get again 0 only. So, the rational number that is equal to its negative also is 0. See now question number 11, fill in the blanks. First one, 0 has dash reciprocal. 0 has no reciprocal. See now second one, the numbers dash and dash are their own reciprocals. The numbers 1 and minus 1 are their own reciprocals. See now third one, the reciprocal of minus 5 is minus 1 by 5. Fourth one, reciprocal of 1 by x, where x not equal to 0 is x. See now fifth one, the product of two rational numbers is always a rational number. Sixth one, the reciprocal of a positive rational number is positive. Today we have seen... Chapter 1, Rational Numbers, Exercise 1.1, 5 to 11 sums. Hope you all like this video. If you like this video, please like, share to your friends and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.